Turn attention to, to Sierra, what you have to say, and then we'll go from there. Okay, well, this is my first time, so if I'm awful, please bear with me. Um, well, I was thinking about what I needed to be preaching on, because I was I found the message on Monday, would you like to preach at youth? And I'm like, oh Lord, what am I going to preach on? Well, I kind of just chilled out about it and prayed about it, and I woke up Tuesday morning, and I heard the word faith. And I was like, and I just saw myself up here just teaching on this. And um, my mind was very blown because this, that's never happened before. So, um, well, I'm going to start on Mark chapter 11, verse 22 and 24. It says, And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto you, this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall say, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So um, I looked at the definition of the word faith. Like, what really is faith? And I found two definitions, and the first definition is, is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And the second um, definition is a strong belief in God based on the spiritual apprehension rather than proof. So just, just grasp this for a second. The Almighty God who created the heavens and the earth cares about us and loves us so much that He gives us the option to have whatsoever we desire if we have enough faith. That's just amazing. It blows my mind. And it's, it's, it's hard to believe, but it's true. And um, um, secondly, I have a few verses here that I'll be teaching on. The second verse is Matthew 17, 20. It says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelie unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. See, the Lord gives each one of us a calling on our lives. All, all of ours are different. We all have different purposes on why we're here today. Well, that's kind of the same with faith. He gives us all a certain amount of faith, the amount that we're always going to need. He never gives us not enough, never, well, I mean, he, he doesn't give us too much. I don't know how that'd be possible. So, um... So you only need, like, if you truly believe something's going to happen, you only have to have that much. The small, the amount of the smallest seed in the world, a mustard seed. You can believe that can happen. That can be mentally. That could be physically. It could be spiritually. But whatever you need, God hears you. And you only have to have enough, enough faith as a mustard seed. That's huge. That's so important. And so many people don't know this because they're like, faith. Okay, let's go outside now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, well, that just, you know, I just felt like a lot of people don't know about this, even though they, they should, but some people don't teach on it enough. So, next is um, Romans ten seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That's how you receive faith. Like, some people are out there, you know, they will go and stick their nose in a corner and say, it ain't going to them. Whatever. Okay. Well, that's not true. I mean, you have faith in you. But to get it out and to really believe, you need to read the Word of God. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So when you hear the Word and you read the Word, you, you learn how to use your faith and that you truly do have faith and how to use it. Um, and um, lastly, it will be Ephesians 6.16. 6, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all fiery, do fiery darts of the wicked. So, no, faith ain't just used to move a mountain. I mean, some people read that in the Bible and they take it literally. Okay, I ain't got no mountains in my way. I'm fine. Leave the mountain over there. But no, it's the devil attacks you in so many ways. But, like, he will come at you in the schools. He will come at you by your friends, your family. He will come at you in dreams. He will do all kinds of stuff to try to get under your skin. But you have to 
you have to have faith that the Lord is going to get you through this and pray Amen. through it. Amen. Because the Lord always helps you through your circumstances. Always. It's, but it's your choice if you're going to let Him. You always have a choice if you want the Lord to help you or not. Because, you know, you could be, um, like, you could be a sick with something and you just muddle through it. But if you pray to God and you have the faith of a tiny little mustard seed, you will get delivered from that. Amen. Is that not huge? Mm-hmm. And some people don't take advantage of that. And I'm like, what are you doing? There's a whole possibilities of things out there you could be doing. And look what you're doing. You're sitting with your nose in the corner doing nothing. It's like, get off your rump. Go on, pray. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end with that before I make a bigger fool of myself. <laughs> Thank you.